Hello, I am here today to talk to you about your phone. Phones are, by and large, I would say the most powerful productivity tools that are out there. Just the ability to have the level of technology, sophistication, access to information and apps in your hand is really just uncharted territory in the history of humans. And by the same token, that phone, which can be your ultimate friend when it comes to productivity, living the life you want, being connected to those that you love, can also be your mortal enemy. <laughs> okay? And what I mean by that is phones, because they're always with us, whether they're in your hand, they're sitting next to you, they're in your pocket, they're in your purse, they're, you know, constantly nearby, right? When you have something that has so much um, open-ended access, it can cause, um, it can become a source of distraction, it can become the source of wasted time, and it can also kind of be a black hole that you don't realize you're falling into. So what I wanna share today briefly is about how, for me, um, a few years ago, I realized that I'm always focusing on being intentional, setting goals, designing my life the way I want, using my time the way I wanna use it, and I realized that I was spending a little bit more time on my phone than I wanted. So this was probably four or five years ago. I was playing solitaire when I wanted to relax because that was one way my brain would just like calm down and be happy. Um, sometimes I was spending a little extra time on Facebook, um, maybe watching some Netflix, watching different videos. And for me, um, I got very aware that for a little while, solitaire was becoming a huge challenge. Like I could get sucked into that and just love to play it for, you know, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to play a game and then I'm going to go do whatever. Or I'm going to play a game and then I'm gonna go to bed. And, and instead I would play solitaire for like an hour, hour and a half on my phone because I just loved, loved it. And I was like, okay, this isn't working for me. What can shift? And what I did is I removed it from my phone. I no longer have solitaire on my phone. Um, I, I also go through periods right now currently where sometimes I'll have Facebook on my phone, the regular Facebook app, and sometimes I won't. I will, um, if I'm in the process of maybe sharing some important information or preparing for an event or helping support somebody else who's preparing for an event, I will have it on my phone so I can interact and check in throughout the day easily. But ultimately, I don't have it on my phone most of the time because it's a time drain. Now I do have my business uh, page app and I do have the messenger app because those are two important ways I interact with my community and my clients. But the face regular Facebook app itself, I found was just a black hole for me sometimes. And I'd be like, oh, I'm not gonna get sucked in or I would default, I would like do something in my phone or I would have this a spaciousness, right? I feel that technology no longer allows for that pause in life anymore because let's say we're waiting for someone in a restaurant who's meeting us and we have two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Rather than breathing, looking around, being present, taking things in, which I love to be present and meditate daily and just love that connection of, of really being aware of my surroundings, I would, you know, I'd be in Facebook, I'd be in my email, I'd be in text. And by removing Facebook from the equation, I was able to to not, um, to not have that constant. And sometimes I'll have Netflix in my phone, sometimes I won't. So just think of, I'm, I'm just sharing these personal examples with you to illustrate how even if you're finding that you get sucked in two or three times a day for five to 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, that can add up. Three times a day, 20 minutes is an hour. An hour of your life that I'm not saying it's a waste of time, but I'm asking you to evaluate, is that where you wanna spend your time? Would you rather be having a quality conversation with your spouse? Would you rather be playing with your kids? Would you rather be um, you know, replying to some meaningful interaction? Would you rather be uh, learning about something like reading a book or listening to an audio book? Would you rather be learning something new? Would you rather be interacting with your clients and making more money? So that's kind of my food for thought today. I challenge you to take a moment, literally open up your phone, look through it, and think to yourself, where do I spend the most time? Like, what of my apps in my phone do I spend the most time on? And can you, can you go, how many days should I say? Can you go 28 days without that app on your phone? I challenge you to that. Can you do it? 
Uh, post below, let me know where, I mean, I've, sh I've shared all here, right? Like, you know what my vices have been and continue to be and go on and off. So what is it for you? What app are, share below in the comments, what app are you going to stop using for the next 28 days? I'm excited to see how this unfolds and um, I hope that it blesses you. If you would like more strategies on how to save time in your business, you can get a free gift at my website, fullspectrumproductivity.com. Um, it's a 33 system checklist on the 33 systems every small business must have to be successful. So. I invite you to download that. And if you feel like, okay, yes, this is a step and I'm ready for more. I'm ready to really begin saving two hours a day in my business and take a stand for my business and for my productivity, then I invite you to have a virtual tea with me, which you can do on my website by clicking Get Started. I love you a lot. I can't wait to hear what, product, uh, what app you're going to delete from your phone for the next 28 days to create more spaciousness and focus in your life. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.